you open Instagram or YouTube and the first reel you see is an hair oil which can grow your hair in 7 days. Suddenly there is a next reel which shows a before and after photo of a single man having a bald hair and suddenly after the drug he develops full hair on his head. The third reel tells that there is a study which shows a drug which has a 539% increase in hair growth compared to people who don't use it. By this third reel you get tired. There are so many options but nothing is working. See this male pattern baldness in India is a cause of social anxiety. The moment such baldness starts setting in, the first thing our parents say is start using onion or egg yolk to try to regrow your hair. Your friends start saying clean shave your head and you will look like wind diesel. See there are a lot of drugs in the market but today we are going to speak about a new drug which is known as the 5% calcosterone. This drug has undergone a phase 3 trial. Phase 3 trial is basically a trial which comes before the drug enters market. Researchers say that this drug has a 539% increase in rate of hair growth compared to people who don't use this drug. Let's dissect what this drug is, what is this study and is this drug useful or it is another drug in a long list of drugs which have come and it is going to disappear from the market. Hi guys, in today's video let's discuss about this 5% calcosterone and let's see whether it is useful or not. See the moment we detect baldness in our life Google gets one more loyal user. Our head would have seen more experiments than any chemistry lab. We will try egg yolk, we will try a lot of drugs, ayurvedic, allopathic medications but it won't work. The real question here is why does baldness occur? There is hair in the eyebrows and armpits also but people don't lose those hairs but basically the hair in the scalp only we lose. This is where we need to understand about the hormonal role, the genetic role. See usually the genetics where your grandfather or dad has been bald then there is a chance that you will get bald. This is known as this male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia. So how does this occur is the question. See your body has something which is known as the dihydrotestosterone. It has a lot of good functions also but it is bad for the scalp. Some of these hairs have receptors for this dihydrotestosterone which are extra sensitive to it. Year after year if this dihydrotestosterone is going to be acting on this hair it will make this hair thinner and shorter. Think of your hair as a coconut tree. It is tall and it is having a lot of leaves. But what is happening is with years and years of this dihydrotestosterone going and acting on it, it will make the coconut tree shorter, 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 thinner, thinner, thinner and it will end up being a bonsai. This is what this dihydrotestosterone does to your hair. And for some people, they are more sensitive to these dihydrotestosterone. That is the reason some people develop this male pattern baldness. See for now for baldness there is a lot of treatment which is available. Let's see some of them. The real question is if so much treatment is already available why are we looking into a new drug? Let's see the positives and negatives of the current treatment standard. First is the minodoxyl. Minodoxyl is one of the drugs which is used to treat this male pattern baldness. So basically what minodoxyl does it, it increases the blood flow to your scalp region in such a way that these hair follicles get a lot of blood supply and it actually delays this hair loss. But the problem with minodoxyl is you have to use it for a long time and people have seen that it works for some and it doesn't work for others. The second drug which is available in the market is something which is known as the finasteride. What basically this finasteride does is it blocks this dihydrotestosterone. So when you block this drug, the main role of this dihydrotestosterone in the scalp is it goes and attaches to the receptors in the follicles and makes the hair thin. But when you block this drug, this does not occur and this prevents hair loss. But the main problem here is dihydrotestosterone has other functions in the body. People complain of mood changes and also hormonal fluctuations. So that is very dangerous. So finasteride even though it is very effective it has a lot of side effects that is the problem. Other modern treatments include microneedling, hair transplants but the problem here is those are very expensive. Of course you will get your hair back but your wallet will go bald. So we can see that minodoxyl is something which you, you have to use for a long time but the effect is not clearly known. Finasteride has a problem of mood changes as well as hormonal changes in your body and you have a risk of doing this hair transplant or microneedling with the risk of your wallet going bald. That is when scientists thought of one thing. 
instead of giving drugs which act in the full body why can't we just go block that receptor in which this dihydrotestosterone goes and acts this is where our 5% calcosterone comes in and let's see what it did see basically your hair follicles have these receptors on which this dihydrotestosterone goes and acts and makes the hair thin shorter and eventually it makes you lose your hair so this calcosterone acts like a key it goes and sits on this receptor in such a way that this dihydrotestosterone does not go and act on it so in this way the hair is saved from the action of this dihydrotestosterone at the same time since this calcosterone is applied as a liquid on the scalp and not as a tablet it does not block the dihydrotestosterone all throughout the body which negates this hormonal side effects which this finasteride provided but the real question is how did scientists get this idea see previously this calcosterone in 1% was used to treat skin conditions because they were blocking these androgen receptors but that's a time scientists realized why can't we make a stronger solution and block the androgen receptors in the scalp and create a solution of this calcosterone in such a way that only the receptors for dihydrotestosterone in the scalp is blocked that is what the scientists thought and phase 2 gave promising results and phase 3 has given excellent results now let's see what was the results it was a randomized control trial of 1456 patients basically in this what they do is they divide the group into two these patients are divided as one group which will receive the drug in question that is a liquid which has the drug and the other group will be someone who is receiving a liquid but the drug won't be there most important thing here is this was a double blind trial a double blind trial means even the doctor or the patient will not know which one they are receiving whether they are receiving the liquid with the drug or they are going to receive the liquid without the drug so this avoids bias and this was a well conducted study so they applied this oil and they took something which is known as the target area hair count that is they chose a specific area in the scalp and they saw how much hair is growing there this was not just like random like before after photos this was scientifically done and using a microscope they checked a target area hair crown of a specific region in the scalp and how much hair is growing the scalp one trial showed that the relative difference of people who received this drug had a 539 percent increase in hair growth compared to the people who did not receive the liquid with the drug the scalp 2 trial showed a relative difference of 168 percent that is people who received the liquid with the drug had an 168 percent increase in rate of hair growth compared to the people who did not receive the drugs these are significant numbers see this study does not show a completely bald man developing hair like Ranveer Singh that doesn't happen here they are not showing people who have completely bald suddenly hair growth no they are showing that people who are having this male pattern baldness and they are using this drug the chance of regrowing the hair is more with this drug but the real question here is is this drug safe and was there any side effects in this trial and was it life threatening let's see the side effects of this drugs now see of all these patients who were taken in this trial they were compared for their side effects and they found that there was no major difference in the side effects the two groups had similar side effects mild itchiness redness burning only was present but still we have to wait for the 12 month follow-up data after every phase 3 trial so after that only we'll come to know the exact safety profile and the side effects of this drug see the major advantage of this calcosterone is it can be applied to your scalp as a liquid see finasteride and all is taken as an oral tablet that is why it blocks the dihydrotestosterone in your entire body and it causes hormonal side effects but calcosterone being a liquid it can be applied on your scalp and that will prevent these hormonal side effects that is the major advantage which this calcosterone has but we need to wait for this 12 month follow-up data before we conclude if this drug is the best see there are thousands of different hair oils which are available in the market we see every day in reels also before and after photos you can do this that but i always trust evidence see this they are providing with evidence from a phase 3 double brain trial so we can better trust for this drug rather than going into other drugs which don't have evidence of course minidoxyl finasteride are there but we have discussed about their side effects also this drug looks to negate the side effects of this minidoxyl or finasteride see your genes have decided that your hair follicles are sensitive to dihydrotestosterone and that's why when dihydrotestosterone acts on your hair follicles it becomes thinner and eventually we become bald but now science and consistency and wisdom can help us to find the appropriate treatment for it do not fall for any magic oil or seeing some real seeing some before after photo but 
When you think that you are having baldness, immediately consult a dermatologist and start the treatment early. Of course, for now we have drugs like minodoxyl and finasteride and in one year's time we will have this drug also. Every drug has its advantage and disadvantage and of course the modern treatment methods are also there like microneedling as well as hair transplant. See, the problem with hair transplant is you need a healthy donor from the back of their scalp. They can give the hair which they can use. So all these problems are there. So the most viable option here is to consult a dermatologist and see the appropriate treatment and not fall for any clickbaits which are present in Instagram or YouTube but rather consult a doctor and get the appropriate drug. The whole purpose of this video is to make people aware that such a drug might come in a year so that when it comes everybody knows that this drug has gone the test of time and appropriate evidence is there that this drug will act. Do like, share and subscribe me for more interesting videos.